Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine with the three card spread for all of her, uh, zodiac signs for July 22nd, 2019. Please forgive the noise in the background. I am in the kitchen. That's where I have the best light. But you can still hear the noise from the living room. My family is watching a scary movie, so I'm sorry if you hear the screams. But anyway, I've shuffled the cards, and I have three cards here for you. The first one is the Queen of Cups. The second one is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And the third one is the Hangman. Okay, there's there's several messages here. Now, the Queen of Cups is usually a person, that, person that's of nurturing nature. This person represents Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And what I'm seeing with the Queen of Cups is either you or another person is offering heart, uh, help, um, offering desire to nurture or help someone. Um, this person is usually a, like a good wife or a loving mother, a devoted, um, just devoted person, devoted friend. Could be a devoted cousin, devoted boss, and someone that's offering help. Okay. This person is usually concerned about the welfare of others. Um, this person could possibly be like a caretaker, a nurse, uh, uh, maybe a home care worker, or something like that. Um, um, either you're needing help from this person or you're this type of person and you're offering help to someone else And the reason I say that is because now next to it is the knight of cups in the reverse And this is a person that's having problems. So we'll get to that in a minute But um, the queen of cups is usually soft-spoken. She's good-natured and she w wishes to help everyone So if, if someone needs that type of help, okay, the help is coming Okay, so for the knight of pentacles, you know horses mean movement but he's upside down, so that means there's no movement in this card. The, when he's in this position, he or she, it could be either one, could represent Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, this person is moody um, to himself, within his thoughts. He's not happy. Um, it seems like his whole world has turned upside down, maybe having money problems because it is the pinnacle, the, the card, you know, with the pinnacles in it. It seems like this person is upset because um, things at his job have come to a standstill, or maybe your things at your job have come to a standstill. Um, uh, matters in his life, his or her life, have come to a standstill. Um, this person needs lots of encouragement. That's why he's next to the Queen of Cups, which could be a counselor offering help. Um, someone could be offering you help, like you know of that nature. Um, this person also stays within themselves because they're moody, they're trying to avoid any type of confrontation, and they seem withdrawn, and they want to be away from crowds, you know, like you, you, maybe you or whoever you know doesn't want to be, go out or be around crowds or anything because they're not feeling well, they're feeling kind of left out, neglected, uh, maybe this person is neglecting his or her duties, and unable to follow through on commitments. You might know someone that's able, uh, unable to follow through on commitments because they just feel like life is letting them down. Okay. So uh, next to it is the the hangman. Whenever you see the hangman, that means that um, you need to face what is already here. You need to face the inevitable. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. Um, so if you're having, uh, like, let's say, relationship issues and it's not going anywhere, then you need to face that so you can move on if you're having uh issues at work that you know are just not going to work out and you're just suffering there then maybe it's time to move on don't quit your job unless you have another one already lined up and i wouldn't quit during mercury retrograde because mercury retrograde is the planet of redo and if you lose we do we we move through a transformation during mercury retrograde it, it, the reason it comes is to force us out of something that no longer serves us and um, you know, helps us move along. But if you don't have a job, you know, don't quit your job until you find another one. And I wouldn't start any job during Mercury Retrograde because um, it probably won't work out. Wait till August 2nd, and then the shadow phase is two weeks after that. And then I would look for something different if you're not satisfied at your job. But um, this card here is telling you to face the inevitable, let go of what no longer serves you, and move on because it's um it's it's clearly that message right there it's obviously something's not right that's why this person is feeling moody again the hangman represents cancer Pis pisces or scorpio this one represents 
I'm sorry. This one represents can Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And this is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So if, if a Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn is giving you these problems, maybe it's time to move on from this person here is what I'm seeing. With the hangman, um, also there's messages coming from heaven. It's like heaven's giving you a message and telling you it's time to move in a new direction. You're being shown a new direction. Um, you could be looking at a complete reversal of a lifestyle. Um, you could be making some kind of sacrifice. Um, you know, giving something up. Letting go is what this card is, is all about. So you can move forward. Um, also, I'm seeing that uh, um, some of you are, need to leave the past behind. That you're hung on the past. And, and in order to move forward, you need to let go of the past. Some of you might be stuck on a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. And this card is telling you it's time to let go. You can't remain in the past forever, okay? The past is just a memory and it doesn't serve you anymore. So in order to move forward, you have to let go of the past. So there's the, a the strong message here um, telling you that it's time to move forward, time to let go of the past. Stop being stuck in the past. It's okay to sometimes think about it and, you know, think about our experiences and what we learned from the past, but it's time to move on. I'm seeing some of you are stuck in the past mentally and you, you maybe you had a fallout with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn and you can't get past it you can't get over it you, you stay stuck in those memories so and that's not a good energy to be in so the the hangman is telling you that it's time to let that go time to move forward let go of those negative energies you know start thinking about what it is that you want for your life where do you want to be in life you know where how do you want to be treated do you want to be treated poorly i mean how is it that you want to be treated by the person that you love Okay, once you figure that out, then you can move forward with those new thoughts, you know. Um, anytime you go backwards, you're, you're just bringing in old negative energies that you don't need to be in, okay. And the universe wants to give you new stuff, but they can't, it can't if you just keep staying stuck. Okay, so try to get out of those energies and try to move forward. Okay, so that's the message for all zodiac signs. Remember, this is only one daily energy. If it resonates with you, fine. And if it doesn't, fine. It's just a general reading. It's not for everyone. But if it does speak to you, that's great. Learn from it. And if not, you can come back for another reading. I try to do these daily. And, um, and then I do the monthly ones when it's time. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I do have a channel. It's called VSG Jazzy Cool. Please check it out and tell me what you think. See you next time.